Hi, this is Ruth and I'm here to talk to you about the next step you have to take after being baptized into Christ. Now, the thing is, when you have come into a family, you need to leave everything that you were behind and start being part of that family. You need to be able to be like your parents. You need to be able to follow the instructions of the parents. Now, the thing is that many of us do not understand this very crucial part. We feel that once we have given our life to Jesus, that salvation is forever. But the truth is that we are children of Christ. We are not the same rank as Christ. We cannot be equal to Christ. We cannot be equal to the parents. We cannot be equal to any father of the house. We cannot be equal to any mother of the house. We need to understand that when you have come into a family, you need to be conformed into what the family already is. The body of Christ has a standard. The body of Christ has values. Now the thing is that we need to work out our salvation. We need by grace to continue learning, to be conformed by the renewing of our mind. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 tells us, that we should study to show ourselves approved. Now, if you go to school, you do not study, you cannot expect to progress. You cannot expect to go to the next class. You cannot expect to excel in your studies, in the reason, the purpose for which you are in that school. When you are in a family, you need to understand the place of discipline, the place of conformity, the place of being transformed. Now, the Bible doesn't tell us, come as you are, but it does insinuate in very many ways that Jesus accepts you just the way you are. He does not discriminate, he does not pick and choose, and he is no respecter of persons. But he does not expect you, he does not expect me, to remain the same way we came. We are to study, we are to grow, we are to improve, we are to to become better versions of ourselves in Christ. If I was good today, I should be better tomorrow and I should be best next tomorrow. That is the goal. As close as you can to the stature of Christ is the goal. Nobody's perfect, we know, but perfection is not possible is not true. Jesus says it's possible and even if it wasn't, before, once Jesus says it, it becomes possible. You need to believe in who you are in Christ. You need to know that for Christ to bring you into his family, for Christ to accept you, and for Christ to tell you to be holy, it's because he has put everything inside of you to become holy. Do not allow people tell you it's not possible. Do not allow people to tell you that you should just try as much as you feel like and as much as you're comfortable with. If you put the, 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 the faith aside and you go into the circular world, you will see the best businessmen, the richest billionaires that got rich by hard work, by their own gifts. They did not do what was comfortable for them. They did not try as much as they could. They exceeded themselves. They went above their current capacity to the next level and when they got to the next level they strive to go to the next level and when they reach the next level they keep climbing they keep going higher until you see them to be who they are today now do not let people fool you and think that you're limited at some point you will always be a sinner you will always be evil you will always in this flesh you will never be holy you will never be good that is not true you can be holy. You can be righteous. You can be a perfect child of God. You can be an example. You can be all that because Jesus has given you everything you need. Again, the place of a pastor, 
the place of a mentor is very crucial in these baby steps so please please find a good mentor please make sure that you see his fruits most of the people you see on TV they might be good but you can't be sure now we are all striving towards that goal we are all working towards that goal do not allow yourself to be limited push yourself try harder and keep pushing because God has given you grace God has given you everything you need it is up to you to believe it is up to you to study it is up to you to continue growing people around you cannot help you if you do not want to help yourself you need to help yourself you need to push yourself you need to put yourself in a place where the the mentor the pastors can help you grow can encourage you and the words that they say they do not go to the dust but they are used for your own upliftment and I hope you continue growing today so that tomorrow you can be an inspiration to someone you can help someone else and the chain goes on and goes on until Jesus that man comes to take us and be with us for eternity God bless you have a great day Thank you.